Hi, in this demo, I'll cover 40 EDR security fabric integrations with 40 gate and 40 sandbox. For this, I will navigate to administration tab and select integrations. On this page, we get the option to configure firewall and sandbox connectors. Let's take a look at connector configuration. These integrations require on premise core, which can talk to 40 gate on port 443. Here we also provide dynamic address group name to which 40 EDR will push the malicious IPs along with API key for authentication to 40 gate. Similarly for sandbox connector, again we'll provide same on-premise code, sandbox IP port number along with credentials for authentication to sandbox. Once connectors are configured, we will go to security settings tab to enable these connectors. For the sandbox connector, we will select execution prevention policy and enable the sandbox analysis rule. Similarly, for 40 gate connector, we will go to playbook policies and under remediation section, we will enable block address on firewall rule. Moving forward, let's take a look at 40 gate configuration. Here, I have configured an address group with the same name as being used on 40 EDR. And as we can see, it doesn't have any member. This address group will be used as destination in the very first security policy on the 40 gate with action set to deny for all the traffic destined to the malicious IPs. Moving on to 40 sandbox, all the files and URL submitted by 40 EDR will show up under scan input tab on URL on demand and file on demand options. Now let's cover the use cases by moving on to a desktop where 40 EDR collector service is already running and I have already downloaded few malware samples which will be used in the demo. For the 40 sandbox integration, I will go ahead and download a test malware file which will trigger sandbox analysis on 40 EDR. Once the download completes, we will save the file and run the application. Here we can notice 40 EDR block the malicious process. Going back to 40 EDR console, we can see multiple events are triggered. Taking a look at the event details, we can see that sandbox analysis rule is triggered under execution prevention policy. Now let's navigate to 40 sandbox to verify the file submission by 40 EDR. In the scan input tab, we can select file on demand option and here we can see FSA downloader file do show up. Now let's move on to our second use case covering 40 gate connector. For this, we will go back to desktop and execute a malware which triggers connection attempt to an external malicious IP. Again, we can notice 40 EDR block the malicious process. Going back to console, we can see connection attempt from a suspicious application. Looking at the event details, we can see 40Net Cloud Services pushed 67.199.248.10 IP address to the 40 gate. We can go back to 40 gate and verify that the malicious IP address is populated in the dynamic address group. Since this address group is configured as destination in the very first security policy on the 40 gate, all traffic destined to this IP will be blocked, highlighting the extended response capabilities of 40 EDR. This concludes the demo. Thank you for watching.